What up fam, Chi Chi here. Today I'll be giving you my perspective on the black girl sunscreen, make it matte sunscreen for the face. I was finally able to get my hands on this for some reason. Yo, y'all be buying this all the way up. But I ended up getting it at Target.com and I've been using it for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to give you, you know, the lowdown on this. Black Girl Sunscreen decided to come out with a matte version and I was really, really excited. This will run you $17.99 for 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 mLs. It's not a bad price. I thought that it was actually a little bit more expensive, but I don't know. I, I'm... I'm gonna stick to that price and it's SPF 45 which is really good I do prefer something in the 50 category so the fact that this is 45 it's close enough for me there is a huge difference between the size of this one and the original the original is for face and body and this one is just for your face so I'm just like I kind of would have loved to see something a little bit bigger than this but a it is what it is i absolutely love this packaging however it's a little bit flimsy i already broke my cap so yeah but it does come with a pump i always like things that you don't have to necessarily like squeeze out because i'm an over squeezer sometimes so <laughs> yeah this does not tell you how many pumps to use i go by the two line method so that for me is about six pumps i'm only gonna do half of my face right now just so you guys can see how it looks so this is what three pumps and look at it it is completely clear they do say that this is a gel kind of formulation and i would have to agree it's kind of like those oil gels you know that for the babies or whatever mixed with a tiny bit of like a dimethicone base primer it's very silky and kind of on the oil side um i'm just putting the residue on my neck even though it's covered up but here's half of my face it looks damn good when you first apply it it's kind of that silky oil like feel but once 15 minutes passes it does kind of like matte down and you don't have that silky smooth uh feeling anymore now we're going to talk about the ingredients i'm not all the way in love with this because it does have shea butter and it also has coconut oil i don't know the placement on the ingredients list where the shea butter and the coconut oil actually fall but if you tend to break out when those ingredients are present in your skincare you might not like this at all because you will break out me personally I am a little bit reactive to shea butter so I have gotten a little breakouts I've gotten little breakouts around my mouth anytime a product has shea butter I, it, it doesn't quite work for me but the breakouts that I have had are just really like tiny texture bumps they haven't been like full-blown acne which I'm happy about so I'm like mm, I kind of can still use this but do I always want my face to break out but then I know how to treat my face and use up some of these products for the treatment you know what I'm saying so I mean it's a double-edged sword it depends on your particular skin and what you can do and how you can treat it <laughs> so results may vary I know some people love it some people hate it but I'm, I'm really in the middle with this. I truly am because I do love the feeling, how it goes on. I do like how my skin looks once it's settled. You're supposed to be reapplying SPF every, what, two, three hours, depending on your environment. So having those ingredients in here already is just like, mm. in order to help, I guess, keep myself matte i am very conscious about what skincare products i do use i won't use maybe a super hydrating emollient 
uh, serum in the morning. I'll probably still do my vitamin C hyaluronic acid, but you know, I wouldn't throw in an extra, you know, hydrating serum to my routine. So I, I do pick and choose like how I could definitely keep my skin matte because I like to stay matte for as long as possible. When it comes to the matteness of it, it's not bone dry matte, you know. My skin is still flexible. I still have a a slight natural sheen to my face. It's almost like like a dull satin. <laughs> the way you layer your skincare and hell, even your makeup will determine like how matte your skin will be. This is water resistant and the good thing about this is that it's fragrance free. I don't know about you guys, I don't like too much fragrance on my face because either it'll irritate my eyes or just the sheer smell of it is just like oh. Oh gosh no it has like the tiniest bit of a scent to it but it's nothing like bad you know that SPF smell to it it doesn't have that it's virtually fragrance free like I have a very sensitive nose so I can smell the littlest things but it, it's really good when it comes to the fragrance and then it doesn't irritate my eyes which is also good because nobody wants irritated eyes throughout the day and even with this being kind of oil, it's not dripping, you know. It does sink in rather quickly into the skin, which is nice because that was one of my concerns. I'm like, all right, if it's got some oil in it, like, will it kind of drip or, you know, kind of move? And it really doesn't. One thing I have to say, I kind of hate the name of this. <laughs> I don't hate it because for me it's like black girl sunscreen I'm a support boom I know I know my peoples but I also worry that brands who use black in the title like black girl sunscreen black girl wine like anything like that they kind of cut off their customer base I want all of my black businesses to win you know oh I'm not a black girl I can't use that sunscreen or oh I'm not black I can't you know, it, it, it's something so stupid to even think about, like that that shouldn't be a thing. But let's face it, a lot of people do pick and choose what they buy just based off the name. So, I mean, <laughs> I still support. I, I just don't want them to box themselves in. You know, I want them to be able to, you know, reach out to multiple people and that people just love it for the product and not just because it's black owned. I, I hope I make a little bit of sense. <laughs> but overall, I really dig the product. I am going to wear it until I finish the bottle and really, really see if the the little breakouts that I do get, is it worth it for me to just continue and buy a second bottle? Or, you know, chalk it up and be like it was a good ride. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy, guys. Bye.